fun. What about the Suns, Bully? You know, here's the most impressive thing about the Suns. When Devin Booker was out, mm -hmm. the machine kept rolling. Yeah. Um, the ball movement, I feel like, improved a little bit. Obviously lacking um, a closer like Devin Booker, but for me, it was just next man up mentality. And I think it taught Devin more from the bench watching. When he came back, it's gonna make them better. He's gonna know when to take over, when to take his shots, when to get his, but then also that he has people that can move. Cam Johnson played phenomenal while Devin Booker was out. Uh, you think about those other guys. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing for me, just watching the Suns, is, is that they're a machine right <clears> now. <throat> They've had eight games with um, back, they have back game, back to back games with eight guys or more who scored in double figures, and that's impressive for that team, Kenny. But you want to talk about the Warriors and saying they're coming. Can't this Suns team hold them off? Chris Paul is I, I still know, playing I phenomenal. I don't know if it's a hold off or, a, or they, or vice versa. Who's holding who off? Like, I, I think that both of those teams, the one thing that the NBA had gotten in the last <clears throat> five years was three-point and pick-and-roll heavy. Mm -hmm. Like, run a pick-and-roll, three other guys stand on this side of the court and stand while those other two guys play pick-and-roll on this side. The difference is those two teams are not heavy in that. So the, you're talking about body movement, and you'll see so many cuts to the rim and more than two guys touching the basketball. So I know it's a copycat league, and you're going to see teams, I think, in the, in the future now move the basketball again because, mm -hmm. you know, watching NBA basketball, it's <clears throat> very predictable. It's Easy to three guys up. stand yep. and two guys play pick and roll. They're the two teams in the league that's only lost five and six games, 11 total, that don't do that as a steady diet. And I Great point guard play, though, too, right? Because yeah. of that. Yeah, right. I, was, I can remember coming in playing high school college my coaches always used to say you're gonna make him better and I'm like how he can't run he can't jump he can shoot a little bit but Chris Paul is the master at making guys better mm -hmm. listen we all can play but when you play with a great point guard that keeps you involved mm -hmm. everybody wants to get their shine on mm -hmm. everybody wants to shoot three so Chris Paul has always been a master of keeping the others involved so you know those guys are playing well you know when Devin goes out next man up when you touch the ball, Candace and Kingdom, when you touch the ball, that's energy. You want to play defense. You want to impress the coach. You want to impress the fans. So they're playing well. They're shooting well. However. 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 On the other side. side. When, it comes to, when it comes to having that super experience, they quite didn't pass the test. They got experience, but they don't know what it takes to win. The juggernauts is knocking on the door. They know what it takes to win. They was up high. They've been down. People were jumping on them, knocking on them. They're, they're back. But Nobody expected Golden State to be here. Nobody expected. I didn't. I didn't. Right. I didn't. Nobody. So they're playing well. And when Mr. Clay come back, it's going to be all bad for a lot of teams. I have a question for you, though. Because the last time. I, I want, no, this is not two. <laughs> but this is the, la the last time we were in the studio. It was last, last year. And you were hard on DeAndre Aiden. Right? You were really hard on him. No, no not really. <laughs> not, not hard. OK. But. but what is your, I mean, this year, she, she what gave, has been gave you the, your gave grade you the on him this year? No, but like, because <laughs> he knows no, I'm right. No, I, I, I he studied, knows I'm right. He's I studied really hard mom, on I studied, Aiden. She gave you the, yeah. so, <laughs> like, you didn't study today. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that I was hard on him. Me being the, the master of the big man alliance. When I see a big man that has potential, I want them to shine. Because this is a guard-heavy league. For the past 10 years, ever since I've been on, it's all about guards. I want that next big man. I want that next Jokic to be like, hey, I, Steph, I know you're over here, but in the big man category, I'm over here. I haven't seen that since since uh, Jokic. You know, Embiid has that potential. DeAndre has that potential. So when I'm being hard on him, it's never personal. I'm just giving them answers to the tests. Embiid right now, I am the supreme leader of the big man alliance. <laughs> when somebody gets four rings, I will resign. But until then, I am the supreme leader of the big man alliance. Well, well